Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my Christmas decorate with me and I'm so excited for it. I always have so much fun filming this video. So I hope you all enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up while you're watching. We are so close to 800,000 subscribers. So I'm starting the video off by making a potpourri on the stove to get me in the mood to decorate. It's so easy to make and it makes your whole house smell so yummy and festive. And there's a ton of different ways you can make this. You really don't even need to measure because you're not gonna eat it. So all I used was some cranberries, um, an orange, cloves, some rosemary, nutmeg, and all you do is add water to a pot and add all the ingredients. And then once you bring it to a boil, then you turn it down to a simmer and it just fills your entire house with such a festive holiday scent and it looks really pretty on your stove too. So if you've been following me for a while, or at least the past like couple years, you'll probably notice about 95% of my decor is from years prior. I just find it so comforting and nostalgic to pull these pieces out year after year and seeing the kids' faces light up and talk about how they remember something is honestly what this is all about. I love decorating our home for Christmas and just seeing like all the joy that it brings all of us. I always like to get a few new dish towels, which are more so just for decoration, that end up on the floor from Tatum and Grayson pulling them down like 500 times a day. I did change out that bow on the wreath to a more vibrant red. If you remember last year, I had a maroon one that kind of draped on the wreath, and this one is just a little bit more structured. Now I'm decorating our coffee bar area and I tried to find those red Oreos to fill the glass jar that holds all of our coffee pods right here like I did last year because the kids always love that but I could not find them anywhere. I think it's still a little bit too early so I'm gonna add those once Oreos releases all of their holiday stuff. I had a bunch of hot chocolate stuff for the kids and I wanted to display it all cute for them. So I added everything onto this little tray. Um, everything is all wrapped so I can set it on the counter and I won't really have to worry about things getting stale.
Okay, we didn't have this entryway table last Christmas, so this was my first time styling it, and I think it turned out pretty cute. I definitely didn't pick the best fake tree because the branches are all wonky on this one, but it's fine. I found that recently at Target, and I just didn't notice that the branches were all wonky, but um, this mirror we've had for a while, it's just been sitting in our attic, but I need to have Adam hang it for me. Falling down, we stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me. Okay, now we're setting up the tree, which is our favorite part, except we didn't hang ornaments this day, so I'm gonna include that in another video, but it's up and it's lit and it just makes the whole living room feel so cozy. Okay, and if you guys remember this garland from last year, I purchased it from McGee & Co. And it was pretty expensive. And then I realized when I went to hang it up that the lights didn't work. So I emailed their customer service last year and they weren't able to send me a new one because it was sold out. So it's supposed to light up and match the tree, but the lights don't work. So I think I'm just gonna string my own lights into it. So I was gonna purchase all new stockings this year because our previous ones are just like all different and I never really loved them. They're really, really old. Um, so I was on Pottery Barn's website and was literally this close to purchasing seven new knit stockings for like $300 or something. And then I thought to myself right before I clicked purchase that I can probably find these for so much cheaper on Amazon. And I did, I found a pack of ones that look pretty much identical. They're a pack of eight for like $40 or something and they look the exact same. I also got some new pillows for our couch and I love them so much. I'll try and link what I can in the description box for you guys, but most of these are from Home Goods, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to link those, um, but some of them are from Target.
I didn't do anything different on our front porch this year. I'm just hanging our wreaths and setting out our faux mini trees. But let me know if you guys think I should just leave it simple like this. I kind of like it or if you guys have any ideas on what you would add. Okay, moving on to the girls' room. They were both dying to put up the new trees that I got them this year. The kids all had flock trees in their room that I got from Amazon last year, and I'm just over the flocking. It makes such a mess. So I got them each a new tree this year, and these ones are a little bit taller too. I think they're six and a half feet, and they're a pretty great price too. I'll link them down below. So again, these are all the same ornaments from years prior, but I do like to take each of the kids to pick out like one or two new ornaments every year, but we haven't done that yet. And I also still need to buy like a whole new set for Tatum's tree too, because this is her first year having a tree in her room since she's still so little. We didn't have one in her room last year. I think she was, she wasn't even a year old. So decorating her tree and her room will be included in an upcoming video. These tree skirts just make me laugh because I feel like they're way too small because the kids' trees from last year were a lot smaller. So I ordered them each a bigger tree skirt because I think these ones are just a little bit too small. Now I'm changing out their bedding. I just change out their pillowcases and then add some festive decor pillows. These are all the same ones from last year.
If you have a frame TV, I ordered this print from Etsy and I think it's so pretty, so I'll link it below. Now I'm adding these mini wreaths that I got from the Target Dollar section, I think, last year to the back of our bar stools with the ribbon that I got from Target last week. Last year I used command hooks to hang these and they would fall off all the time. So this year I randomly had the idea to tie the ribbon to the stool and it worked out so much better. I don't know why I didn't think of this until now. Okay, now moving on to Grayson's room. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. We'll be sharing our secrets. Making dreams come true. Let's have a toast for the lovers. We'll tumble round in the snow. And my heart's going boom, boom. The little felt piece that was attached to the string came off, so I just tied a piece of ribbon and a bow so that he can still use the countdown. When the sky comes alive, let's have a jolly holiday, holiday. Let's have a jolly holiday, holiday. Yeah. Haven't seen you in so long, but we text. And still my feelings are so strong How I miss your face Let's have a toast for the lovers We'll tumble round in the snow And my heart's going boom, boom, boom You're so beautiful His bathroom decorated for Christmas is always one of my favorite spots in the house. I got all this stuff from Hobby Lobby last year and I just think it's so cute and simple for a little boy. Wait another year, just talking on the phone, I'll make you feel at home, oh, when I got you by my side, what a night. What are your favorite Christmas books to read your kids? I always like adding in a few new ones to our collection. Away, 
Okay, now I'm setting up Grayson's tree. I love all his little plush ornaments so much. They're so cute. I can't wait to take him to pick out some new ones this year too. And I'm hoping next year he'll be more excited to want to decorate his tree with me, but he wasn't having it this year, but that's okay. I know he loves looking at all the lights and the ornaments when he sleeps. And I think that's one of my favorite things about having a tree in the kids' rooms. It just makes bedtime so cozy for them. So that is it for my Christmas decorate with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll include Tatum's room in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably include it in a vlog where we take the kids to pick out their new ornaments. But please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. No, he wouldn't miss it. In Christmas time